Hello everyone, my name is Dean and welcome back to another Ruby on Rails tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at two different approaches to installing Vue.js in your Rails application. Uh, I'm going to be running them simultaneously uh, because honestly there just isn't enough content for one video unless you're covering both approaches. Uh, this was, it, it's basically one command and then popping into a couple files. So you're going to see both approaches. So if you have an existing Rails application that you're adding Vue into, or if you have like a brand new application you're starting, uh, I'll be covering both of those. The first approach that we take is the new application, and then I show you the existing application. Uh, but they really only diverge in like the first 10 seconds of you creating the app, basically. Uh, so, you know, we're going to go through that. It should be fun. Uh, hopefully it's entertaining to watch me manage two different projects at once. Uh, and, you know, hopefully you guys get some value out of this. So let's go ahead and let's jump into some code. Okay, so there are two choices for installing Vue. Uh, the first is just to do it during your initial project generation. So for this, I'll call this like Rails, new, uh, Vue tube, and I'll say hyphen hyphen webpacker equals um, view and I'll run this generator uh, the other option which I'll just do over here because we have enough time to run this twice uh, hello maybe I can drag this nope I can't drag this over okay so I'll just cd into code tutorials and for this one I'll just do a rails new no view so this first generator is going to run a command in a minute here it looks like uh, that's going to install view during the initial setup. So uh, you have your rake tasks and one of the rake tasks is the uh, right here, the webpacker install view command. Um, but you don't have to run that during your installation. You can also run that uh, after your project's been created. So with the uh, react tutorial, I first did it with the rails new command. And then I did it with the webpacker colon install command. Um, here I'm just doing both in the same video because I've realized that it's better to probably just cover it this way. So I'm going to cd into ViewTube. And if you want to see all of the rake tasks you can do here to install different JavaScript stuff, uh, you have a webpacker install for Angular, Coffee, Elm, ERB, React, Stimulus, Svelte, TypeScript, Vue. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of options here. Uh, we've already installed Vue here, so let's go ahead and let's run a uh, Rails G controller pages home command. And I'm doing this so that we have a home page to work with here. In this other one, which I called no view, we're going to run Rails T, uh, which we'll use to see that the command to add in view is right here, which is Rails webpacker install view. So I'll just type Rails webpacker colon install colon view and that's going to add view to this project. Now in this first one, what we can do is just type code dot to open this up in VS code. Uh, and then once that's open, I can, uh, I'll come over into my uh, file explorer and then go into config and routes.rb. I'll change this git to a root and this slash to a hash, I'll save this. And then we can come into our, uh, well, let's actually start this server real quick. And if I come into localhost port 3000 in here, once Webpacker uh, finishes compiling, we should see the uh, default pages home view. So if I come into app views pages home.html.erb, you'll see that it says this pages home stuff. Now, if we want to uh, add in our view stuff instead, so, you know, we're done with default HTML templates, we want to use some JavaScript goodness, we can come into our app JavaScripts folder, and here you can see there's an app.view page. Uh, we're not using that right now. Well, I guess we are, but we're not, this isn't the file we need. We have the application.js, which is the main app.js file for your application. And we also have helloview.js. And this is going to come with instructions. There's one for um, well, without a compiler and with a compiler. So uh, this is the directions for doing it with a compiler. It is uh, basically the same. You're just going to follow the comments here. They even have a section for turbo links. 
but we're just going to use this top one because all we're trying to do is get you up and running. So we're going to grab this JavaScript pack tag and we're going to include this on the page that we're on. So in this case, we're on uh, home.html.erb. And actually, I'm going to paste this in here just so you can see what this does. I'm going to paste it above the page's home and then we should see hello view appear on the page. So if I come over here and I refresh, there's the hello view and here is the old HTML stuff. So you can see that the hello view is being added below this HTML stuff, uh, even though we have the JavaScript pack tag above it in our layout. Um, so if you wanted to customize this from like hello view to, I don't know, hello you, uh, you could come into your app.view file and you could just change this to hello you, how are you? And then just, I don't know, add in a question mark so it makes sense grammatically or whatever. Uh, and that that's basically all you have to do. So now in this other file, which I'll uh, open up right now in my code editor, uh, we can, uh, now that we have Webpacker added, we can also generate a controller. So let's type Rails G controller pages home. Um, and then once this runs, we can come into our config in here. We'll also add a thing to our routes.rb. Uh, assuming this runs sometime this year. So we'll change the get to a root, the slash to a hash. We'll save that. And we'll, uh, I guess we'll do a Rails S and we'll do this for like th port 3001. So let me open up a new tab and I'll go to localhost port 3001. And that should take us to the homepage. And then once we're in the uh, homepage, we can come into our app views pages home.html let's get rid of this stuff and we'll just throw in the uh, hello view pack tag because we do have the exact same files in here so you can see we have hello view and app.view and we'll say hello from no view which is i think what i called this so if i come over here now and i refresh the page uh, you should see hello from no view so there you go that is two different ways to install view.js done in the same video in I don't know what, like seven minutes maybe? Uh, so uh, yeah, I hope this helps uh, and I'll see you guys in the outro. Okay, so that's gonna do it for this tutorial on setting up Vue in your uh, Rails 6 application. I hope this helped. Uh, I really wasn't sure if this would be something people needed to see. Uh, I'm hoping that at the very least seeing the Rails task list is helpful to some people for seeing how to add different Webpacker components. Uh, that you can just, you know, set up yourself without needing to, like, yarn add stuff or NPM add stuff. Uh, so, yeah, I hope this helped. If it did, remember to like it so it gets to the top of the search results so that other people can be helped by it. If it didn't help, then remember to dislike it or downvote it or, you know, smash it into oblivion or whatever the cool kids are saying uh, so that we aren't subjecting other people to it because we don't need more bad tutorials at the top of the search results. We've all been at, like, the the deadline, the midnight deadline for our project class before, where we're just trying to find the one tutorial we need. And, uh, you know, there's nothing on the front page of YouTube. So let's not do that with this video. So if it isn't helpful, remember, dislike it. Uh, you're helping out other people. You're also helping me make better videos or question my video making skills. But either way, uh, I, that's about it for me uh, before I blather on even more. Um, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.